One of the many ways that I love using Notion for research is to do uh, voice of customer. And really this is about helping me understand the ways that people are articulating their challenges around Notion or what they love about Notion. And that way I can make sure that I am addressing that in future videos, in my products and services, courses, etc. So as you can see here, I've got a lot of different notes that are tagged with Notion. And you can see here, these are filtered by tag contains Notion, product, or sorry, project contains Notion Mastery, area contains Notion. And so that way, as I go, I can go and add new emails that people send me, uh, YouTube comments, things that people tweet at me. And so you can just kind of visually see with the icons, you know, where did this comment come in from? Was it praise? Was it a question? Was it a problem? And so I will... Um, add these emails, add these tweets to this database. Sometimes I'll add it through um, these templates that I've created here and that will automatically add a number of properties. So for example, if I add a new YouTube thing, it's already got sources, YouTube, tags, YouTube, or video. Um, and that way I can just add the URL here quickly. Otherwise I can also use the Notion Clipper and send this information right into the database. And then I try to make it a habit uh, every week or so I'll go through and just make sure that I've tagged things correctly. I've added a summary. And so you can see here, you know, some of these have been highlighted. Some of them have been bolded completely lost for how open-ended Notion is. I really like this um, 360 degree view of your life. Somebody used that wording and I really, really like that. And I thought it was a great descriptor. And so what I do is I pull this information and I'm going to use people's exact phrasing on my sales page. So this is just a really great, great easy way to do voice of customer research. Um, in my own uh, consulting work, I've often um, seen that my s clients will struggle to, they kind of describe their courses and their service offerings in their own words. And it's not something that the customer would necessarily ever search for. And so it can be really obscure you know, if you've got your own methodology, um, but you have struggle, you know, you kind of struggle to describe it to your clients and customers, use their own words. It's the easiest way to really create products and services that resonate with people. And so this kind of keeps me humble and keeps me remembering how do people describe it when they're um, struggling with how to discern whether to use a database or a page. This way I can really open this up. I can see how people are describing things. Um, this was a great example. Like I loved obviously being scattered across all sorts of different tools. That's something that I know that Notion helps with. That's something that I was definitely struggling with when I was first learning Notion. But I also just love this. I binge watched almost all your Notion videos instead of writing the blog post I was supposed to. So this was something that I pulled and used directly on my sales page and just said, you know, um, so you've been binge watching your videos and you're still feeling confused. And so that was something I was able to pull directly. And I know I've heard enough people say that they've binge watched watched my videos, that that's something that I can really play up on my sales page for my course. And I can say, uh, you know, I can speak to that, not wanting to go down rabbit holes and spend hours and hours doing research and watching videos. So that is definitely a thing I can play up. Um, something interesting here in the feedback, someone said that um, they love that they were able to directly jump around and for someone with ADD, this is fantastic. So in some cases, I might be able to pull some of this data and use it as testimonials that I will use directly on a sales page. Um, in other cases, it might just be in how I describe products and services. Um, you know, even just noticing how many people are talking about the weekly agenda or how many people are asking for templates. Um, you know, saving time obviously is a big thing. Um, it's not really software for the average user. So that's that's really interesting insight. Um, someone said that they thought their initial thinking is that Notion is too open for teams. So that's something, um, that's something I'm gonna wanna be aware of in my own videos or training. If that's something that people are skeptical about, I'm gonna need to address that. So again, just getting into the habit of storing this information in a database somewhere that you can quickly and easily reference it later is just so, such a powerful way to make sure that your product development is better, your copywriting is gonna resonate, um, 
ideas for blog posts and future videos, all of this is stored here and it just makes it a lot easier to take action and to produce content that you know is gonna connect with customers. So I highly recommend doing this if you don't already. Um, I know some people use Google Docs or you know spreadsheets for this kind of customer, voice of customer research. I love being able to see it visually here to filter things by tags. I can look at, um, again, different you know, just show me quotes or just show me business development related notes or um, things related to planning habits and rituals. I can, uh, you know, look at notes from other people who are also uh, writing about productivity and time management and I can connect that to um, the words that people are using to describe their, their pain. So I hope that's helpful. I do recommend if you are not already in the habit of um, you know, saving this thing, this kind of information somewhere, this is going to help you so much as you produce products, services, courses. Um, at, if you're launching anything like that, you're definitely going to want to be doing this kind of um, voice of customer data, research, storing, summarizing, and tagging. It's definitely made writing sales pages so much faster to get into the habit of this. And I always encourage my clients to uh, have a place where they can collect this as well.